Hello everyone and welcome to another one of Block Party Trading's tutorials. This one I'm excited for two reasons. One, I have got a new microphone, so not only do you have to listen to a monotone British voice, but at least it doesn't sound so tinny anymore. But more to the point, something that might be a little bit more exciting for you guys, we are introducing the Block Party Trading Market Scanner. Now, this has had a little bit of a facelift uh, from those of you that are familiar with it, moving from the automated trades more to the market scanner. I think this gives a better indication of exactly what it is used for and also how to use it as well, which we'll dive in today. But unless there's any confusion about how to use the market scanner, then please watch on. So you're noticed as a premium member within Block Party Trading. The only way to get access to it is by joining our group. We have three channels of the trading floor, the premium channel, and also the market scanner now, not to mention four very awesome premium pro indicators. But we're talking about the scanner today. So as a premium member, you'll notice in your Telegram bar, you'll have the, uh, you'll have the actual group, which is the block party market scanner just here. Pinned to the very top of it is a bit of a top line information of what it is and how to use it. And I'll run over that just now. So to mention that these are not trade entries. The market scanner is predicated on a whole bunch of confluences to identify trades that are gonna be potentially breaking out uh, via pullback method. They are kind of creating a bit of a trend change or they are conducting a potential reversal. Now, please note when I say potential, because this is fully automated, this is based on AI, and this will never ever be a reliable substitute to a pro trader's analysis, or even your own kind of own sentiment and analysis itself. So if are these uh, indicators, not indicators, sorry, are these alerts uh, advised for more pro, more advanced traders? I would say yes, because they do command an understanding of what the wider market is doing, what is Bitcoin doing, uh, notably, and also, can you read a chart? Uh, can you understand support and resistance and kind of volume as well, which is also equally important when looking to enter some of these trades? But that being said, um, used in the right hands, uh, this can be one of the most powerful tools in block party trading's arsenal. It's the core foundation of where we produce a lot of our trades from. Um, and ultimately, if you get your hands on it, you can be producing a lot of your trades too. So let's dive into it and how it works. It's gonna be quite simple. Um, and one last point on this as well, uh, we're looking at, we've got about 1200 alerts that are running through this via TradingView. So if you fancy spending $600 annual subscription for every 400 alerts, and you feel you can do it better, then you know, please be our guest. However, for $20 a month, we will be saving you upwards of $1,800. So that's one way to think about it. But let's dive into what an alert looks like. So let's just shoot down here and you'll see three alerts that have come through uh, just here. Please ignore this top one. We've, Like I said, we've had a bit of a facelift and we may as well talk about this. This is how they previously looked. They were advised entry points, um, but I believe people were taking these a little bit too literally and diving in uh, straight on these fixed entries. So we've made it a little bit more crisp and a little bit more clean as well. So this is the facelift of how they're going to start looking. As you can see, every four hours, they are uh, basically set up to ping every four hours at 8 a.m. or in GMT, should I add, at 8 a.m., 12, 4 p.m., 8 p.m., 12, 4 p.m., 8 p.m., you get the gist. And you can expect anywhere up to five to 20 alerts every four hours, pinging in across the market over every single BTC pair, USDT pair, and also all the futures both up and down. Pretty, pretty strong tool. And we don't specify within each of these alerts which style of trade it is. Um, this is, I guess, more down to the fact that you should be, A, having the Alpha Prime on there as well, which a lot of these trades um, and alerts are confluence with, but also you should be able to understand them yourselves. So do not enter these blindly. You have been warned. In fact, we, don't, we do not include these trades or these... Um, alerts within our you know monthly results or previews um that being said we do use these a lot to actually produce the foundation of a lot of our trades and our analysis and to draw our attention to them so like i said just be careful righto let's have a look at the oh go away let's have a 
Okay, I don't think there's any more alerts coming in there. So let's have a look at the most recent scanner alert. Just down here, we've got a short. So which way is that gonna be going, guys? It's gonna be going down. We're going with Binance. All of our alerts are via Binance, but we like to put those on there as well, just to be completely crystal clear. What ticker and what pair are we looking at? Well, we're gonna be looking at BAU, USDT, PUP, or futures for most of you. And we also see the current price there as well. It's very handy to have to know what price it first ticked at so that you're entering it in at the right place, should you, this turn into a viable trade. So let's have a little look at the chart. Oh, look at that, we're on BAU, USDT, PUP. It's like I had it set up. Anyway, so as we come to the chart, you'll be alerted and you'll be pinged to see that this candle right here has closed and you have been alerted. So what do we do from here? Well, we don't just blindly chuck in a trade there and go 50X on this. Um, I don't actually know if you can go 50X on BAL. But um, yeah, you don't go high leverage, YOLO, balls to the walls. Um, you take a little bit of time to look at the chart and understand it. So immediately looking at this one, you know, in the market sentiment right now, we know that Bitcoin has had its biggest crash in 24 hours uh, of all time. That's pretty good news for a short, you know. We have crashed pretty well through this um, support line just here, uh, which is based on that. So we've crashed through that. Okay, you know, that's lost the support. And it's now sitting on this next support just here. Well, it was initially resistance, but now support. So this to me is a point of contention. And it will raise a few alarm bells for me because I generally don't like to enter on support or on resistances because you kind of enter up in the realms of about 50-50 trades there. So I would want to wait for a little bit more confluence of a bit of a breakdown. We'll talk about the trade entry in a minute. But what else have we got going on? Well, we've got, uh, you know, three peaks here all rising. And we can quite we can probably see there's a bit of a divergence forming. Um, but notably, after three peaks, we see a bit of a collapse in price. So that's picture perfect there. What else we got going? OK, cool. We've got an untested uh, monthly pivot down here. So, you know, that's another kind of... Um, indicator saying that the price is going to be going down a little bit more so in my opinion things are looking pretty good for this trade and what are we going to be trading on well these are not specified to be long long-term hodls these are specified to be what's happening in the market right now so we're not basing them on any long-term uh, historical indicators such as 200 emas or whatever these are very quite short and snappy trades um and as you can see here, so let's just assume that we're going to go in on this trade. Now, like I said, I wouldn't want to enter really too much. If I'd, I'd be a little bit concerned entering as this is bouncing off, um, purely for the fact that it would look like it could be reversing. Um, I would want to take a quick look at what Bitcoin is doing right now. I'd want to take a quick look down here, even though the, the, they won't actually alert if it is um too too low in the RSI or too high in the RSI, so it won't actually alert you. So this will never be oversold for a short or overbought for a long. Um, you want to take a little look at the volume and see how that's doing. That's quite high. Okay, cool. So I would put my entry in just below this support for the reason that I'm knowing that there is a bit of a commitment to this going down further. And I would quite organically add my first TP at this um, support just here. And probably my second TP just down here as well. So we would pop that there and that there. And then as we see with this wick just here, it kind of shoots down and it picks up our first TP at 5%. Not too bad for the first candle, you know? And we'd jump in that, do a bit of quick TA, take a quick 5%, it's futures. So whack a little 5X leverage on there and you walk away with a 25% trade within, I don't know what the actual close on that candle was, but or when that wick hit, but let's say within four hours, which is pretty cool. Um, and we also kind of almost hit our, we, we get on our way to the next um, TP as well. So you have two options. You can, uh, you know, put your stop loss at break even and just get out of that trade and move on to the next one. Or you can just ride it out, which it doesn't really matter because you've kind of already hit your TP. So anyway, that is a very, very basic and broad way to look at Market Scanner and how to use it and how to what what our opinion is on how to look at using it as a trading tool. So thank you very much for watching and any questions as always, please um, send them to Block Party Trading. Our 
channel is just at the top here and all of our information for contact and signing up to premium is in the description below. Thank you.